After the princess's chariot was out of sight, the soothsayer led Vandiyathevan into the house. He sat on his throne. Avarlapan, who was looking around, was also asked to sit down, he looked him up and down. Brother! Who are you? Where did you come from? He asked and Vandiyathevan smiled. What, are you laughing? No, you are such a famous astrologer that you are questioning me? Shouldn't you look into astrology itself as to who I am and why I came to you? Oko! What's that? I'll see to it. But if I do fortune-telling myself, I wonder who will give the Dax Hina. Vandiyathevan smiled and said, Astrologer! Now those who have come here and gone? Who are they? He asked. Oh! Them? I know whom you ask about. You know, brother, you know. You ask about them, who were here when you seized my disciple and dragged you in, didn't you? They got into the chariot and left behind, kicking up the dust, about them. Asked the soothsayer rounding the child. Yes, yes. I was just asking about them. Ask well. Who said you shouldn't? They're both ladies. I know it myself, astrologer. I am not blind. I can tell the difference between men and women. I can tell even if a woman is a man in disguise. What are you asking then? If women, they are inner, in a jati. Oko. Are you asking that? Among women there are four castes namely Padmini, Sidhainai, Gandharvi, and Vidyadhari. You seem to have some practice in Samutrika Lakshana Shastra. Out of those four castes these belong to Padmini and Gandharvi castes. Oh my God! Why? Father! If I call God, you say why? Are you asking? What's wrong with that, devil? Haven't you heard that God is omnipresent? It seems that you don't have the company of elders that much. What is in me is God, what is in you is God. You dragged in that disciple of mine who is in God. Enough, enough, stop. It is God who told me to speak for so long, now it is God who tells me to stop. Astrologer. Now that you have left here, I asked who those women were, what town, what clan, what name. If you answer without asking around, then what will you give me, father? I will give my gift. Keep your gift to yourself. Tell me if you have any gift to give. Will you say yes if I give you the gold? I will tell you if that too can be told. Brother! Listen to this. Many people will come and go to Geothedon's house. You must not tell about one to another. I will not tell you about those who are gone now. If anyone else asks about you, I will not tell them a word about you either. Aha! Uh -huh. What Alvar Katayanambi said about themselves is absolutely true. Alvar Kadi? Who is he, such a one? They don't know, what? You talk like you know them? Have you never heard of Alvarkadian Nambai? Perhaps you know the man, I don't remember the name, give me some identification and we'll see. He is tall and short, he wears a kutumi in front. He has a veti tied tightly around his youth. He has washed sandalwood and spread it all over his body from bottom to top. If he sees Sivas, he will go to fight. If he sees Advaitis, he will raise his staff. Just before you said you are God, I am God, if Al Warkadi had heard this, God is attacking God. Saying that, he would come and hit me with a stick. Brother! If you put everything together, it seems that you are talking about Thiru Malay Appen. Does he have different names like that? That valiant Vaishnava will give a name to the city. I will make you wear a proper costume. Aha! Uh -huh. He will also wear a costume suitable for the occasion. Is there a little bit of imagination and lies in the telling? Three quarters of a mile is false and imaginary, half a mile is truth. Tell me what a wicked man! It cannot be said that way. Good to the good, and evil to the wicked. Nothing can be taken at his word. Believing and disbelieving depends on one's own speech. For example, 
he said that if you go to them and ask a soothsayer, you will be told well. He said that there was half truth in his speech, and in that half it was included. Then tell me some astrologer, Aridam, it is time for me to go, sir. Where are you going in such a hurry, father? Shouldn't you ask astrology about that too? I came to ask you about where to go, where not to go, and whether things will work out if you go. We need some evidence to say astrology and Aridam, father. We need a horoscope, if there is no horoscope, we should know the date of birth and the star, if we don't know that, we should at least tell the name of the town. My name is Vandiyathevan. Ah! Of the monkey clan. Yes. Was Valaveria Vandiyadeva. Chatsat is him. Say so, brother. Shouldn't I have told you earlier? I even had your horoscope. If you look for it, you will find it. Whoa! How about that? What else do astrologers like me do? Let's collect all the horoscopes of children and women born in great dynasties. I am not born into such a great dynasty. Well said. What a clan is yours? How many poets have sung about the monkey clan? Perhaps you have not heard. Tell me a poem and I will listen. The fact that the astrologer is not a musician is revealed when he sings. However, he composed the song in Panna and sang it very clearly and fervently. How's the poet? He asked. It sounds good to the ear of a poet. But it is only if I tie my flag to the horn of some cow. The government will bear my blow only if it stands on the branch of the royal tree, even that is doubtful. The branch will break without bearing the weight and push me down. Vandiyathevan said. This is your condition today, who knows what it will be like tomorrow. Said the astrologer. Didn't I come expecting you to see? Said Valaverian. What have I seen, brother? Am I but a man of short life like all? But the planets and the stars tell of future events. I find out a little of what they say and tell them to those who listen, and that's all. What do the planets and stars say about me, astrologer? They say you will rise day by day. Exactly. The height is too high now. You have to bow when you enter your house. What to do with the height? Say something specific instead of generalizing like that. If you ask something specific, I'll be specific. Would it be possible for me to go to Tanjavur? Tell me. If you are going to Tanjavur for your own business, then things will come to pass. Now you have the best of luck. If you want to go to Tanjavur for someone else's business, you should look at the horoscope of those people. Vandiyadeva shook his head and put his finger on his nose and said, Astrologer. I have never seen anyone as clever as you. He said. Don't flatter, brother. Said the astrologer. So be it. I will ask clearly what needs to be asked. I want to visit the emperor at Tanjavur, is that possible? There are two great astrologers in Tanjavur who should be consulted. Who are they? One big scavenger, one small scavenger. They say that the emperor's health has deteriorated. Is that true? Somebody's going to say something. What's there to say? Don't believe it. Don't say it outside. If something happens to the emperor, can you tell me who gets the next title? You don't have the next degree. I don't, why should we care about that? We survived that shell. Vandiyathevan said. True, brother. It is no ordinary thing to be affected by the title, is it not a very dangerous thing? Josiah. Presently at Kanchi is Prince Aditha Kari Kalar. He is. You have come on his behalf. You have found out at last, how happy is his yoga. I don't have horoscopes at hand. Brother. You have to tell by looking. How about Prince Madhurand Hagar's yoga? His horoscope is strange. Similar to women's horoscope. Always dominated by others. Even now you say that women's rule is going on in the Chola country? Do you say that it is worse than the Ali kingdom? Where brother say that? They say north of the castle. 
It seems that the great gardener is talking about the dominance of the young queen who smells fresh. I heard otherwise. What did you hear? It is said that Kundave Prati, the emperor's daughter-in-law, is the one who paid the woman's money. The astrologer looked at Vandiyadavan's face. Knowing that it was Kundave Devi who left the house a while ago, he tried to know from her face whether she was asking that. But there is no sign of it. Absolutely wrong, brother. Sundara Chola Emperor is in Tanjore, Kundave Prati is in Palayara and... And what? Why did you stop? You must look away and talk during the day, you must not talk at night either. But there is no harm in telling you. What power does the emperor have now? All the powers are wielded by the vassals. After saying this, the astrologer carefully looked at Vandiyadeva's face once more. Astrologer. I am not one of the corruptors, do not doubt that. Just before you spoke about the impermanence of kingdoms and dynasties. You gave an example of the Vanara clan into which I was born. Please tell me the truth, what will be the future of the Chola dynasty? I tell you the truth, I say it without doubt. At the end of the month of Ani, there will be a new flood in the Kaveri and its tributaries. Then the people on the Kaveri know very well that the new flood will increase day by day. Even up to Avani and Puritasi the flood will rise. Kartikai and Margazi will begin to flood. This will drain away. The flood will also be known to those on the banks of the Kaveri. The Chola Empire now resembles a new flood which is increasing day by day. It will continue to increase and spread for hundreds of years. The Chola Empire is now a waxing moon. The full moon is still many days away. So the Chola Maharajya will continue to grow. You have made this one thing clear for talking to yourselves for so long. Vandanam, tell me if there is just one more thing. I have long wanted to board a ship and travel by sea. That desire will certainly come true, you are a yogi. You will move about as restlessly as a wheel on your feet. You will walk, you will ride on a horse, you will ride on an elephant, you will also go on a ship. Soon you will have the yoga of seafaring. Sir. Can you tell us about Prince Arulmas Hivarmar, the commander of the southern army, who is currently fighting in Elam? What do the planets and stars say about him? Wealthy son of the angel of fortune. Just as sailors aim at the pole star, youths like you who embark on the sea of life, aim at Arulmas Hivarmara and it will be fruitful. Daddy. What are you saying about Prince Arulmas Hivarmar? Are you describing a lover like a girlfriend describes you? Brother. Whoever you ask in the Chola country on the Kaveri River will say the same as me. Much respect, astrologer. When the time comes, I will follow your advice. Just knowing that your lucky planet has also peaked. I am coming, astrologer. Along with my hearty offering. I offer some gold that I can, please accept it. Saying this, Vandiyadeva presented five gold coins. The generosity of the monkey clan is still not gone. Saying that, the astrologer took the gold.